Welcome back to AI for Jewelers, presented by Jewelers Advantage. Jewelers have questions about AI, and we are here to answer them. And today we're going to talk about a very new, important skill for you to have as a custom jeweler in the age of AI, and that's going to be how do you edit an AI image for jewelry? If you're in a situation where you have a custom client, you may need to make several alterations to the same image and show them options and then close the customer on a combination of those choices. So how would we do this? Well, how are you going to do this? Well, let's assume we've already created an AI image. This is a cool key pendant with yellow gold and diamonds that I thought was very interesting. Of course, there are major brands that release keys, and this might be a project that a customer might come to you with that you need an answer for. So let's start with the key. I thought this was interesting. What you could do in this situation is you could come over to Jewelers Advantage. This is built into ChatGPT Plus if you want to create images, and we would use the product conversation starter. If you kick off with any of these conversation starters, you essentially have a creative director and CEO of a jewelry business in your pocket to help you. So as you can see, clicking on product started off our conversation. And then I threw it a curveball and said, I am working with this product. Tell me some ideas for how we could alter this design. Of course, the AI can see the image. So it already knows that we're working with a key. And it says that's a beautiful golden key pendant with intricate detailing. Here are several ideas to alter and diversify this design while maintaining its elegant charm. So thank you, Jewelers Advantage. That's very helpful. And I already see some things that I like in here. Gemstone variations. Of course, we could alter the center stone, perhaps. We could change various aspects of this. We have different metals, so metal variations, design embellishments. Maybe there's an engraving. Maybe there's filigree work. Maybe we want to change the shape and form of the key bow or the shaft of the key. Maybe we want to add a locket feature, interchangeable stones, change the size, and so on. There's a lot of options. The AI is giving us some good ideas, even telling us what collection it could fit in. In this case, maybe it's a fairy tale collection for the key. And maybe we might even have a technology integration like a QR code. Very interesting, very forward thinking from our in pocket, in flight consultant. So, how could we edit this design? Something that we could do typically if we were generating the image on the spot is that we would have a feature that would be available within the AI that would normally let us click on the image and edit it. But what if this is an image that we've had already and maybe we want to be cross-pollinating with other AI tools and get more versatility into that process and be able to do it in real time and go fast. In that case, we would recommend you head over to our good friends at Leonardo AI this is an AI tool that is specific for image generation and design and editing. So they have a lot of onboard tools at Leonardo that are very helpful. We're going to be using real-time canvas. If you were to click on real-time canvas, it would bring you to something like this where you could upload our original image and just drop it into Leonardo and be able to edit the image. So how would this actually work? What would we want to do? Well, Maybe I would want to alter the center stone, as they said before. I could say, change the center stone to blue. As you can see down here, this in-painting prompt is going to help us guide the AI. I have Grammarly on board as well, just in case. And by adding this text, this is giving some direction to what the AI is going to do. From there, I'm over here in the paintbrush tool and I've chosen a blue that I thought would look nice. Maybe we'll even go with a little bit more of a sapphire blue. That could be nice to go with. So we're going very heavy into sapphire. I'm going to even add gemstone is a blue sapphire. From there, we have the paintbrush. We have our color selected, and we've chosen the width of the paintbrush, and I am now going to change this center stone to blue based on the recommendation of the Jewelers Advantage AI. So here we go. I'm just painting like a little kid in Microsoft Paint. And here we go. We have a blue sapphire now in the center stone. Maybe I would want to do something like change the design or remove one of these diamonds, make it a little bit more focused on gold. So with that, I might use the eyedrop tool, click on a section with some gold and get the color of the gold just right. 
And then maybe I'm going to say, edit the gold where I paint, and I will paint away this diamond along with the structure of the ring. That's not quite what I want. Let's try that again. As we can see, it returns back to normal. And as I make edits, I could change the in-paint strength, and we'll see things change in real time as I edit this field here with in-paint strength. So as you can see, now we have a center stone changed to blue. This element over here from the original ring was changed to gold. From here, I could go up to instant refine. And you'll notice that the sharpness and quality of the image is going to improve. I like this resolution. Maybe I could upscale the image if I just wanted it to be a higher pixel count. And then I can download the image. So then I jump back over to ChatGPT and I'm going to use Jeweler's Advantage to help us with production for this new ring and anything else we might need to market this piece. So what I would do is I would drag and drop the image into the chat bar. Here we go. And I could say something like, tell me what you see. And as this populates, we see that the central gemstone is now populating as blue and the AI knows this. It's saying the bow of the key is adorned with a central blue gemstone, likely a sapphire, adding a striking color contrast to the gold. So beautiful. So what we would need to do now is if we want to make the piece, people always say, well, how are you going to make the piece? Well, the AI can also assist you with a lot more than design. So if you need help across product design or marketing or sales or operations and production or even the financial side, Jeweler's Advantage has been trained on that information holistically to make sure that you're building an effective jewelry business. So what we might do in this case is we need to know that CAD is next. So I'm coming over to my prompt library and I have a special prompt for CAD design collaboration saying, I am collaborating with a CAD operator for jewelry. Please guide this interaction and help me write emails and or text messages that use the correct terminology. If I'm a beginner, that's very helpful and align with the unique needs of the project we are creating together. So I'm going to copy and paste this back into the AI, and we are going to get some help with how we are going to talk to our CAD specialist to create this piece. So of course, we have the initial email to the CAD operator. If you're brand new to jewelry, this is a big cheat code to unlock a lot of productivity. You can outsource your CAD. So here we have a great working email that we could copy and paste into Fiverr or Upwork or wherever else. Maybe you prefer CG Trader. Wherever you're finding specialized talent for CAD work and jewelry, we're now getting help with corresponding with this individual that knows all the correct terminology. So from there, if you were to go to Fiverr, you would be able to be well on your way to either creating this original piece or our new piece that features a blue sapphire and make this vision real. You'd also be able to get help with anything related to product creation, maybe analyzing trends that you may be able to use to market the piece better, along with a ton of other things that you can use in a real jewelry business by leveraging AI, perfect for small teams. So if you want to do what I did, of course, we enthusiastically recommend a handful of tools out there. Leonardo AI is great to experiment with. You might find that you really like that to be a part of your workflow. And of course, everything that we do on this channel is built around Jewelers Advantage AI. So if you go to jewelersadvantage.com, you can get this for free. We'll send you four AIs. Just sign up in the form, follow the red button for AI Copilot, and we will send you four AIs as well as the prompts that help you build the jewelry business of the future, which is really cool. So this is Jesse Corby here at Jewelers Advantage. I'm one of the co-founders and creative director here. Hope you got value out of the video. Please like, comment, and subscribe if you did. And we will see you in the next one.